today wrapping up the first full week of early voting here in Georgia. And yes, even on Mother's Day, some chose to exercise their right to vote. Our Karis Belger tonight explains some of the changes voters saw at the polls. It's best to do it early. There are no lines. Patrice Pascal came to the CT Martin Natatorium after church Sunday so she could exercise her right to vote. A regular early voter, Pascal says she wanted to make sure her vote and her mother's were counted. You want to always have that peace of mind and not be rushed. Sunday marked the end of the first week of early voting in Georgia, one that kicked off with record participation. Election workers at the CT Martin Natatorium tell 11 Alive that the day started off slow, but as it continued, more people stopped in. People like Cleveland Victor, who says the widespread attention on multiple races in the state helped motivate him to vote early. He also took advantage of the holiday lull. I didn't think it would be that crowded. I think it'd be, I, I think that I could get in here and, and get out quicker. And while he says voting was still easy, he noticed a few changes. You know, we did more writing this time than we did last time. Oh. Everything, they did it all for us. Now we have to go in there and write and put down a little more detail. That was good. For some, the election was still a high priority, even if they had to vote on Mother's Day. In Atlanta, Karis Belger, 11 Alive News. And our hardworking digital team has put together an extensive online guide for the May 24th primary just a couple of weeks away now with details on all of the candidates who are going to be on the ballot. You can check it out. Just head to 11alive.com.